Hey there, Storm fans, Brent Cook, and today we're playing Modern Storm with a little bit of a different look. This is actually Gruel Storm, red green combo here in Modern, thanks to Modern Horizons 2, which the storm colors in that set were red and green. And the key card is Goblin and Archimancer. It is a color shifted Goblin Electromancer. And that's the piece that this deck was missing if you wanted to play Red Green Storm previously. So all of our green and red spells cost one less to play. It is not tied to instants or sorceries, which means that Bergy and Underworld Breacher also cost reduced. Kind of cool, right? So when we look at the deck, actually, let's talk about Gift Storm for a second. So Gift Storm is blue red and when you look at the deck, it's mostly just the blue cantrips at this point in Gifts and Given. So this deck isn't terribly different. We have Abundant Harvest and then Veil vale of Summer. So Abundant Harvest is a green cantrip that guarantees a land drop, which is kind of nice. Veil vale of Summer is our replacement for Remand. Uh, it's much better against Force Negation. And then, you know, the rest of it's fairly similar. You do lose out on one cantrip slot, which becomes Strike It Rich. Um... But yeah, actually, before we hop on in, let's look at all of the Modern Horizons 2 cards in this deck. We have Strike It Rich, you know, a card that enables a theoretical turn to kill, but also color fixes. We have Abundant Harvest, uh, Goblin and Archimancer, as I mentioned. And then we go to the sideboard, we have Galvanic Relay, Ave Progenitors, like, there's just so much in here. Uh, Modern Horizons 1 has uh, Weather the Storm, but not quite Modern Horizons 2. There's just so much that Modern Horizons 2 gave this deck. And the main idea here is that we're, we wanted to abuse Bergy, but also reforge the soul. That said, there's a sweet, sweet uh, combo in this deck that allows you just a guaranteed kill. And then is Underworld Breach paired with Bergy, and then you wish for Burning Inquiry. This will allow you to essentially dredge your entire deck until you can hit a grape shot. That's the idea. It is a guaranteed win. Um, is there anything else I want to say about this deck? Go to the sideboard. Galvanic Relay. I know I touched upon it a second ago, but this is one of our plans to dodge Graveyard Heat. We're likely going to board out Veil of Summer for Relay in a decent amount of matchups, if I had to guess. Uh, this is kind of like a clean swap you can make against decks that aren't blue or uh, black. And then a progenitors. We are not going to sideboard this one in. We just want to wish for this. But this is also a plan to dodge graveyard hate. That said, this deck can just beat it on its own. You don't really need to use your graveyard that much. We do have Reforged the Soul and Bergy to dodge uh, graveyard hate as well. I think that's all I have to say. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. I do try to respond to everything, so I will get to you. I promise. And get, leaving a comment's great anyway. It helps us get into that YouTube algorithm. Why wouldn't you want to do that? And then you can become uh, a subscriber. I would greatly appreciate that. We're going for 6,000 by January 1st. That would mean a lot to me if you subscribed. I, I really would. Uh, and then, you know, like the video. That helps too. Uh, if you're looking to support us in any other way, you can become a member. Uh, there's tons of perks in there. Badges, emotes, the member section of our Discord, donation decks, cyborg guides. I get asked about cyborg guides all the time. You have to become a middle tier member in order to get cyborg guides from me. So just letting you know, that's where you go. Uh, other than that, you can always go directly to the epicterm.com slash donation decks to submit your combo deck to be featured here on this very YouTube channel. The epicterm.com slash shop has all of your card single needs as well as storm merchandise, including our mini token pack that has, you know, storm counter so you can count all the way up to 20, but also red and green mana to help you play this deck. And on top of that, we have Slime Time. Ave Progenitors already built in. Makes playing in paper super easy. No fumbling around with dice. We got your back. That's it. That's my intro. Short and sweet. Let's hop into round number one and gruel storm some fools today. I hope you like this video. See you match number one. It is match number one. We're on the draw and our opponent has revealed the Lurus. We've opened up a pretty solid hand here. We have the Goblin and Archimancer. We have lands. We have, you know, our remand spell with Veil of Summer. This hand seems great to me. We're going to keep it. Lanes. So Veil of Summer, maybe not going to be the best here. Looks like we might be facing Hammer Time. 
All right, so we want this abundant harvest to find like a reforge the soul probably. Another ritual, okay. So we're like a wish away from this hand being decent. And it's looking more and more like hammer time. And it is definitely hammer time. So we're getting put to the test here in match number one. There's the Stoneforge Mystic. So this is going to go get Colossus Hammer. All right, we only have a draw step or two here to, you know, draw something decent. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play the Forest. I could play the Fetch Lane to Slightly Thin, but I'm going to play it because I'm a little bit worried about just, like, dying, and every point matters against Hammer Time, so I don't really want to throw it away. Okay, so Saga... Okay, so they're going to be able to equip Hammer here because of the Pure Steel Paladin, which says Metal Craft you can equip for free, and they have Metal Craft. Stoneforge has been equipped. I'm currently looking at 13 damage. So they're going to swing for 11. I cannot block. Going to 8. Need to draw something good here. And... Hey, we hit the wish. All right. So it's a little bit backwards, but I kind of like this idea. I think I want to get. Let's use. I guess I'm going to have plenty of red mana. I think I want to get past in flames because then I have a past in flames in the graveyard for when I reforge the soul. Yeah, I think I like that. Right, ritual. And I guess I can also flash back this abundant harvest. Okay, tons of mana. Let's cast Wish. And now Reforge. Boom! Look at that. Alright, so let's play the Berg. And now let's Morphos. Wanna hit we wanna make mana. So this abundant harvest is actually a break even. Let's do green red. Another goblin. Um, so this actually cost reduces both of these, so I like that. Okay. So I think we're supposed to do abundant harvest here. Now this is gonna make a red. Come on, give me a ritual. Strike it rich is pretty good. I do like that. So strike it rich makes a mana because Bergy uh, replaces it, so that's nice and. Uh, the flashback on Striker Rich actually generates an extra mana here, too. Woo woo, Striker Rich looking pretty good here. Okay, um, I can play Wish for free before we discard it to the Reforge. So now I get to just play a card out of my board, and let's Reforge the Soul again. I know that I could cast uh, Group Shot here, but I I'm here to have fun, so we're gonna cast Reforge the Soul, and you can deal with it. <laughs> All right, so we have the game one now. Let's just cast our spells. This looks like a lot of fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to the rest of this league. Okay. Break it rich. And where's my grape shot? There it is. Boom. Love it. Woot woot! Wish, what a draw. <laughs> that was that was really sweet. So we don't want these Valus Summers in our deck. Those can get out of here. Uh, the question is, what do we bring in? We don't actually have that many cards that are good in this matchup. Um, it's just how it is. So we can bring in the Bolt. Removal's fine against them. Bolt is probably okay. And... I guess you could like bring in the Blood Moon. There's like three random cards. You could also like bring in Relay, but I think Relay might be a little bit too slow here. Alternatively, you could bring in the Burning Inquiry, but you actually have a higher chance of getting the combo if you just leave it on the board. So I think this is what I'm going to do. So this is a turn two Berg, but no payoff. Um, You know what? I think I'm going to keep it. You can yell at me later in the comments. Keep. 
Sealed courtyard. Ooh, that's annoying. She. Okay, we're just gonna let them draw infinite cards. Sorry if I sound a little bit under the weather today. I woke up with like a. I'm very congested. I don't feel miserable or anything. I just, you know, congestion. Yikes. Okay, they have the fast start. We are probably just dead. Draw. Uh, so I have to sacrifice my Berg here. You know, let's just uh, go to the next game. I'm not going to win this one anyway. <laughs> I, I guess like I could have sacrificed the Berg and the next turn look to rip Reforge the Soul. Which wouldn't have happened. Okay. So I guess there was a little bit of an early concession there. Uh, but we're just going to fire it up back for game three. Okay. This seems fine. You know, I have a cost reducer in this hand, which makes it a little bit slow. But we do have this bolt to slow things down. Let's see how it goes. This hand is a burgie away from having the Burning Inquiry loop. Okay. So we're just going to play Strike It Rich. Okay, Copper Line Gorge, Strike It Rich, and pass. Planes. And aid, sure. Berg! Okay. So, yes. We're just going to play the Berg, and then next turn, we might have it? I'm not sure. Uh, so we can cast Pyrotic Ritual, which makes four mana due to Bergy. Wish brings us to two mana. Um, I'm actually short unless I draw another Ritual, I think. Another Ritual would definitely do it, though. Okay, Igmoth Nexus and Stone Forge. Our opponent picked up a Colossus Hammer, and now it's our turn. Let's draw Mountain. Does that change it? So, Ritual is four. Wish would be two. Breach. I don't know if that does it. Um, so, four, two floating. All right, so four, two. Breach is one. And then we can bolt for free. I think this might do it. Because we have the bolt to uh is the extra escape card. Okay, so now we play wish. That's three cards. Underworld breach. Okay. This is free to do, so let's just I guess we want to bolt them. In case, like, for some reason, we're short on damage. I, I, I don't know. I've never executed this combo before. So, uh, Burning Inquiry. Okay, and now we just keep on playing this until we hit a Grape Shot. Okay, uh, let's remove the extra Bergy and Bolt. This is kind of cool. I didn't think I'd actually get to do this in the video, if I'm being completely honest. And there's the Grape Shot. Okay. So, we have the win, we just have to execute at this point. This is kind of sweet. <laughs> okay. I love it. I really do. This is so awesome. Burning Inquiry. Uh, it's basically just Tome Scour in this deck. I guess the downside with this play is that our opponent could theoretically draw into Surgical. And they've conceded! We just beat the best deck in Modern. Hammer Time. Uh, Gruel Storm looking pretty good. That's only match number one. There's still four matches left to go. You're not going anywhere. I know you're not. I'll see you in match number two. Match number two. We've opened up a turn two Berg. We have Reforge. This is a keep. Oh, it appears that my sideboard was cut off. I am so sorry. You probably missed that in the first match. Whoops. My apologies. You know, like, moto updates, and then that happens sometimes. It's the worst. I'm really sorry. I just noticed it. I would normally correct that stuff. Um, so let's just strike a rich here. Got our treasure token and pass the turn. I'm sure I'm going to get tons of comments from people that couldn't wait to say that until match two. 
Once again, I'm sorry, I'm not going to apologize again. Alright, so this looks like it's probably... Well, I was going to say elementals, but I guess it's just land destruction. Okay. Let's just play the Berg. I love Berg. Striker Rich is gone. That's Blood Moon, I'm fine with that. Ooh! Jerk! Alright, so... This Abundant Harvest now stinks. But we're going to play another Berg and uh, maybe Reforge the Soul next turn. Land Destruction. Elf into Chandra. So Chandra's going to kill our Bergy here. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. But we do have a Reforge the Soul. They're Hellbent. So, ooh, Clothus is active. And another Bergy. Okay, um... I think that we play the Bergy out and then try to win next turn. Whoops, undo. Berg number three. Can't keep her away, she's legendary. So they're gonna eat our Berg here. We're gonna fall to 10. They can attack for four plus Chandra. Into another Chandra! I guess my legendary joke applies two ways. <laughs> oh, that stinks. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get this one now. Okay. That was not a good rip for me. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Okay, so theoretically that draw technically gives us some life. Because I can reforge with two floating. But I think my odds of winning with two floating are just not very good. I guess it's one floating in a land drop. My bad. Oh, jeez. So we'd have to hit like the perfect seven cards here. And that is not good enough. All right, so I'm going to concede. Womp womp. Veil of Summer not looking so good uh, in these first two matches. So we'll, let's get rid of those Veils. Um, I don't hate Relay here. So let's try this out. Just a clean swap. You could board in something like Wilt, but I don't know if I actually like care that much about Blood Moon. Game two, and we're on the play. Keep. So we're gonna just going to play turn one stomping around, turn two goblin and archomancer, and then potentially try to win on turn three. I could also sandbag the anarchomancer so they don't bolt it, but I don't know. Like I f really feel like with this hand and this deck, this deck's very mana intensive, that we're gonna need all the mana we can get. Okay, there's passing. Do I want to play into Bolt? Ooh, that was actually a good draw. Um, now, now the question of if I want to play into Bolt is real. So I think the answer is yes, because next turn, let's say I, let's say they tap out on turn two, right? Uh, I could go Ritual Manamorphose. That's four mana into Reforge for with no floating. So instead, I think I'm just going to cast the Goblin here and pray that it lives. Judging by their paws, I think they have a Bolt in hand. No, okay. Got a little bit lucky there. Or maybe they just didn't want to take two damage. I find it pretty weird that this deck didn't have a, a one drop, which is pretty strange for the arc strange for the archetype. And here they have Fury, okay. I wasn't thinking about Fury as a card. Um I think that's fine though. So I think I want to cycle Morphos here in case I hit another creature. And if it doesn't get used, that's fine. Like, we're not doing anything this turn anyway. Strike it rich. That's fine. Um, and we'll just pass the turn. Okay, and they're passing. Morphos. I think part of me just wants to, like, flashback to Strike it rich and pass here. If they're not going to be doing anything. I know it's a card I could escape down to World Breach, but I also like the guaranteed mana for Reforge. Chandra. Trails for two. I didn't see that coming. That actually hurts. Ah, crap. Um, we don't have an answer to Chalice for two in our deck. That's stinky. Um 
I guess her answer is to just beat it. Reforge. That hurts so much. Alright, I'm just going to cast the Harvest here. Done land. Okay. We are not in a good spot. So I think I might actually want to play the back half of Bergy so I can convert some of these bad cards into cards with text on them. They had another Chalice in their hand too. Okay. Weather the Storm and Endurance, those are other possible cyborg cards. And they're just going to pass, okay. So Relay is fine. I'm still just going to play the back half of Bergy here and pass the turn. I'll have to keep the Chalice in mind if we're lucky enough to win this game. And go to a game three. Misty, sure. He's in Pyromancer, discarding what? Two land. And the monkey is back. I'm trying to figure out how we actually make mana when there's a chalice for two in play. I think it's like we can realistically only make mana off Bergy. We just have to discard rituals. Wish. I'm just like trying to think this through how we could possibly win this. Discard ritual. Discard goblin. The strike at rich makes mana if we can hit a burgy. Discard. I guess we discard land here. No burgy yet. I'm going to discard the harvest. I, I don't want to discard the past and flames because like. It costing four instead of five is actually pretty relevant. But I think we have to here. I just have to hit a Bergy. Another Wish. Galvanic Relay. No Bergy yet. Ooh, I can Veil of Summer to beat Chalice for two. I think I just found the line. Okay, discard this. I don't know why they didn't click sooner. And I hit Bergy. Okay, so now let's play the Crag. Okay, play Bergy. Okay, strike it rich. Ah, uh, they had the bolt. Did I just punt by... I might have just punted. Like, maybe I'm not supposed to play Bergy at all. And then I just play all these rituals. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. Um... Yeah, I think I just lost because I'm dumb. <sighs> yeah, I just never should have played the Bergy. Um, I guess I say land because it's just a card I want to discard through the horn anyway. Yeah, I, I threw this. I should have won this game. I, I, I just didn't have any reason to play into Bolt. Okay. Let's see if I can make a comeback. It's probably not the case at this point. But I guess if I like hit a Miracle Reforge, uh, that could do it. We do have two Reforges left in her deck. Dash Monkey, so now we take four down to 11. They hit our Berg. Yep. That was not good for me. I'm a little disappointed in myself that I Played in the bolt when I didn't need to. Just dumb. So this is five, six, eight. So we're dead to bolt next turn. So we have six mana, eight mana, nine mana, ten mana. So I'm right now I'm trying to calculate if I can. I'm also dead to endurance, actually. But can I even beat those cards? Like if I wanted to, I could discard two cards here. Let's say I hit Wish into Veil of Summer, and then I have four mana left. How do I realistically win? So we have they have four cards. We know one of them's Ragavan. We have 18 cards. There's two Reforges in there. So Bolt and Endurance both kill me. Five, six... Wait, is that true? 
uh, six damage. Endurance would be eight. Regiment's ten. I'm not dead. So that actually changes things quite a bit. Um, okay. So we're going to flashback Striker Rich here. And now we're going to flashback the other Striker Rich. I know that I'm discarding the cards that I could be, um, like, discarding the horn. But hear me out. So the reason why I'm making this play is, so we now have seven lands in play. Next turn I can flashback Past in Flames into Wish, into uh, Veil, and have enough mana to win. Granted, I lose to Endurance, I'm aware. Um, but it's a line that can th theoretically win. All right, so now we take a bunch of damage. Wait, I just can't count. I thought that I would have gone to four there. It gets countered by your own chalice, but makes a red mana. Five mana. Fury, okay. Lance, so now they have two unknowns, okay. Do I want to miracle this? So this is actually a tough call, because I think I... I need to count. Um, so we have five mana. So the five mana for passive flames can be the treasures. Wish, Veil, guaranteed win. But do I want to reforge? Get possibly giving them endurance. But if I reforge, there's a chance that I don't even need to use the graveyard. How many wishes are left? One wish. Wish I have one wish left in the deck. Uh, this is such a tough call. I'm I'm gonna say no. We have a guaranteed win as long as we don't have uh, endurance right now. Flashback. Okay. So now we. Wait, do I not have a wish in there? Ah, uh, I am so dumb. I could have swore we had a wish in the graveyard. Why am I this dumb? Oh, crap. I, I could have swore there was a wish in there. Oh, my. So. I hard cast. Yeah, I don't think I can win now. Why did I think that there was a wish in there? What? Jeez, that's twice I've punted this. Okay, so I guess theoretically, I'm not dead. Um, I have seven mana. I get a few looks at the wish here. So, there's 16 cards left in our deck. We have one wish. I can discard these to the horn to get more looks. Okay, so two, six mana. I can't cast the other harvest because if I do, I don't have enough mana to ritual after, so I have to discard Striker Rich here. We have to hit the last wish. Relay. So that get that means that I can play the abundant harvest now. Discard the reforge. So mad at myself. Um Terms two. Alright, abundant harvest. Non land. So we get two more looks at Wish here, but I think if I miss, I'm just dead. But maybe we can try for a double grape shot line through the chalice. And I did not hit. Okay. So I can button harvest again. It's from four. That's still a lot short. Fergie. Okay, so if I play Bergy, she doesn't do it. Because if I play Bergy and then Grape Shot, I'm a mana short of double Grape Shot. Um, geez, why am I so bad? Is there anything I could realistically hit off this discard? And keep in mind... This storm count is how much we would actually deal because these uh the first copies of Grape Shot are being countered by the chalice. So this one deals four and that one deals five. So that means we would need two more spells to cast. I'm pretty disappointed in myself right now for punting this game twice. 
So I can play the Bergy. I guess I would have needed to have a Strike It Rich somewhere. I think I just have to discard this. Ritual Land. I think we're dead. I can like clear their board, but I have five cards left in deck. Like, what am I going to do? All right, let's kill their creatures, I guess. All right. And then this one deals five. One, two, three. Same targets. I threw this. Yikes. Yep. And now we go to one with four cards left in deck. And they have the bolt. Okay. Well, I, I deserve to lose that one. No excuses. Um, did I? Okay. There was a wish left. I thought there was. Uh, yeah. That was my own fault. One, one. Match three, and we are on the play, looking to play a little bit tighter this round, maybe less mistakes if possible. Gigantha. Okay. This hand's really close. I think I'm actually going to keep it, even though I desperately need another land. Desperate pun right there. I do have Striker Rich to get me to mana number two, but we're going to want more than that. So our opponent's likely on Tron. So let's assume that I don't hit the second land. I can still play a goblin and then desperate ritual and then hope to hit another mana for this. Um, or maybe they're on a hammer. Yeah, maybe this is hammer time. I've never seen hammer time with Gigantha, but possible. I guess you couldn't run Paladin if that's the case. Okay, let's just grab the forest here. Save a little bit of damage. And pass the turn. Saga takes up to two. And another Saga. Is it Affinity? It looks like Affinity. Draw. Fish. Okay, so... Here I can play Goblin, which is going to reduce this by one. And then I can cast Reforge with none floating, but I still have a land drop. Or what I can do is... Hmm. I could just play the Goblin and pass, but I risk death. Not a big fan of that whole death thing. I could not play Goblin and then Reforge with one extra mana. But I feel like the Goblin does so much. Actually, if I play Breach... Wish I can escape. That's better. So play breach. Play wish. Now I can escape the ritual. This is just a much better line. All right. So desperate ritual escape these. So now I actually get a pretty reasonable shot at winning. Um. Yeah, we just have to reforge here. So I want land ritual. We hit land ritual. Um, that said, I can't do a whole lot else with this hand. Um, I'm trying to think here. Is there something better I could be doing? So I think I can pass in flames and then play two more rituals because the pass in flames only cost two. And then that allows me to keep going. Desperate cast. Desperate. And now I can reforge with mana floating, which just makes it this way better. The two mana floating. Ding dong. So Bergy here is one mana. Strike it rich. We got it. This is a pretty sweet win. Ritual. The Bergs. Look what happens when you just don't throw away a match. It's crazy. I wonder if I should consider not throwing away matches in the future. It just sounds wild to me. Like, why why would you wa not want to punt matches? And now we can discard these lands to the horn, and then we can escape the lands if we want to. Okay. We're just going bananas here. 
Wish. Morphos. Red, red, red. We don't need green. Morphos. <laughs> this text is like kind of wild. Uh, let's just make green for the fun of it. Another Berg. Discard. Discard. Um, you know, I, I think I'm done slam dunking on my opponent. Let's just cast the Grape Shot. It's from 20. Okay. Get dunked. And looking at their graveyard, they are just affinity. Um, I don't think I want Veil of Summer here. I could be wrong. Like, do we think that Relay is actually better against affinity? Do I think affinity has Chalice? Probably not. Bring in the Bolt. And maybe Weather? I guess I could bring in the Blood Moon. Let's try this out. Okay. This hand is not keepable. There's no mana. Have to ship it. Um, this seems fine. Bottom of the wish. We can use Abundant Harvest to get another land. And then from there we have three, four. Four mana into Reforge is not enough. So we would be looking to draw into like Goblin or, or, or Kaomancer. Or Canomancer. I don't know. Words, things. Uh, that's mana number five for Reforge. Land. An Archimancer. There we go. It's not a very easy word to say. Okay. Goblin? I kind of just want a ritual now. Or like Reforge now. But one thing I can do is I can Morphos right here. And then make a green. And what that will do is if I hit the Goblin, I can then cast these. So we'll add one green. That's interesting. Um... I don't think I have enough mana to really use it, but we'll see. So I can play Breach, escape one ritual. That doesn't do it. So I should just reforge here. Do you have Metallic Rebuke? Stub! I do not see Stub coming. Okay. So we do have Breach's backup, but we don't have a whole lot of resources. Wish doesn't do anything here. We just have to pass the turn. Okay. Maybe I do want Veil of Summer. Probably getting like Tormod script here or like some other effect like that. No, Springleaf Drum. Okay. I am very close to death. Thought Monitor. I don't know if there's a draw that actually gets me out of the situation. I guess I could draw Reforge into the nuts. Um, that's a possibility. Okay, so... Technically, I can play Breach, and then we have eight cards in Graveyard. I can escape twice, and there's nothing that I can escape twice into that saves me. So, let's just go to game... Three. Maybe we board back in the Veil of Summer. Alright, let's get rid of this Wilt, the Moon, and Bolt. Okay, game three on the play. No lands, no keeps. This seems decent. Bottom Crag, why not? Mountain Go! Springleaf Drum, okay. Ornithopter. Relic! I don't like that. Okay, so we have to find a way this game to win without using our graveyard. Or get them while they're tapped out, but I don't think they're going to tap out with the Relic in play. Plating. Well, Goblin's getting in there this turn. I guarantee it. Chip damage. That's the turn. Another copy of Springleaf Drum. So if I attack now, they can actually combat trick me. They can tap this for a black. 
Ooh, that was a good one. Uh, but I do not want to miracle it. Um, so what I could, what they could do is I attack, they block, and then they tap this for black, tap the Ornithopter for black, attach the planing, and my creature dies. So we don't really want to do that. Um, I don't think that they can stub us here, because similarly, they can tap this for blue, or this for black, tap that for black, equip, but then they don't have a blue mana for Stubborn Denial. Oh, but what they could do is tap this, tap that, make a construct, and then tap the construct for blue. That would actually get me here. Green, red. Bergy. Do I want to play Bergy? Probably. And the breach is kind of free to play here. It replaces itself. And then reforge. They're doing the line, making construct, and then stubbing me. Ah, oh, damn it. Yep. You got it. Damn. And I can't uh, escape it. I'm one card short. I knew it was a possibility. I figured it out, but not a whole lot I can do about that. Yeah. Get bodied. All right, they've made another construct, and then they're going to search with their Urza Saga. Age, sure. I mean, you already had Relic. Pretty much the same thing at this point. Um, so I think, realistically, the only way we win is if we miracle another Reforge. Not very good odds. Two out of 50, so yeah, yikes. Like 4%. I'll just. Oh, that's. Uh, I have to block here. Jeez. I was like, I'll just take it, but that's actually just lethal. Um, yikes. Not a miracle. Okay, so we are dead. One, two. It happens. See you match number four. On the play for the fourth round. Let's get it. Okay. No enabler. We do have a reforge the soul. Our opponents revealed Luris. I think I'm willing to try this. We're just going to play the Craig and pass. Um, next turn, we're going to play the flip side of Craig, which is Timber Pathway. Timber Crown Pathway. Whatever. Words. Okay, so, so this is Burn, probably. Yeah, it's burn. Well, I can't miracle that. Ah, not a good draw. Yikes, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. And admittedly, I'm not playing as many bolts as I should be in the board. I, I struggled to find cards to cut to put into the sideboard, so I ended up cutting bolts, and now we're about to get idle on. Yep, welcome to my life. <laughs> yep, that hurts. Um... Jeez, this sucks. Am I supposed to just like burn a ritual here to kill Eidolon? I think so. Because otherwise the Eidolon starts dealing me damage, like from attack steps, and then they're getting even more equity. I have to do this eventually. Ah, <sighs> this sucks. Yep. Pass the turn. We're so far away from winning, too. Give me a land. Veil of Summer. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted here. <laughs> yep. Ouch. We're at five. We're drawing Veil. So we're drawing dead here. Uh, I'm just going to go to the next game. And this is kind of my own fault. Like, this deck definitely doesn't have... Like, when I was looking at uh, possible cards to play, I was like, I should probably be playing three or four bolts. But if you want to do that, I think, like, you can't play Blood Moon, which is, like, I mean, we haven't used it this league, so, like, maybe this just isn't the right card. But you can't play Moon. Um, maybe you don't play Empty. Like, you could maybe cut the sideboard Veil of Summer, but then you don't have one to wish for against blue matchups. Th there's concessions to be had, uh, I guess, is the main point there. 
So Will actually does kill Eidolon, so we can board that in. And then, like, maybe the weather. Just hope for the best. Alright, on the play. Come on, Dak. Be good to me. Sure. Opponent taking a mulligan. In a perfect world where our opponent decides not to interact with us, we could play turn two Goblin, turn three Bergy, draw land, play Morphos, into Wish, into Reforge, and go nuts. I don't think that's going to be what happens. Wilt. Okay. So just play the Goblin. So we have our insert idol on. It's a goblin mirror. Weather the storm. I'm just gonna take it. So that means we don't have the land on top for the burgy. I guess I can morphos first. Come on, please don't kill my goblin. Please don't kill my goblin. Alright. How lucky am I? Probably not lucky enough. So what I'm thinking about here is I can Morphos, do red green, play Bergy, and then like hope to hit a land, and then from there reevaluate, but I just don't think that's the wise decision here. And instead I'm just gonna destroy the idol on. Cast Manamorphos floating red green, hope to hit a land, and then from there I can go Bergy weather. Red, green. That's interesting. Um, what does this actually do? So I can wish. This is gonna be a cool one. Why did it take up all my mana? That is not. Oh, because it's not a cost reducer. Ah, uh, that's not as cool as I thought it was going to be, but still fine. Uh, I was like, yeah, I can wish reforge weather, but instead we can just relay. Or not re reforge wish relay weather but i forgot it's not an actual cost reducer it's fine oh I, I can't do that anyway i am such a dummy i just said that it's not an actual cost reducer ah stupid um jeez guess a grape shot really disappointed in myself right now Ah, oh, jeez. I just keep on punching this league. And I'm not going to blame it on me being slightly sick. I don't think that's it. I think I just suck at magic. <sighs> so disappointed. Get in there. Okay. Berg down. Another goblin. Could hold up the weather, but I just want to beat them down here. I am the goblin aggro deck. You accept that. The spear. Blurse to hand. Like it. Ritual, ritual, ritual. Yes. Okay, so now we can reforge with an open mana. Technically what I could do, and this might be a better line, hold priority, cast reforge, and now it's weather and gain nine life. Reforge, we still have a land drop. That was very good. Okay, so now Ritual. Bergy only costs one. Now we can Morphos. Let's do green, red. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. So that means this Reforge is only going to cost one mana. It's pretty sweet. Love it. <laughs> My opponent just said aggro storm into the chat. Let's flashback strike it rich. Fast in flames costs one mana. It, it actually costs nothing because it's reduced by three and then makes up for itself with Bergy. Wow. When this deck wins, it really wins. That I know that I've played really poorly this league, but I'm having a great time. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right. Let's just hope to win game number three. This seems like a reasonable hand. And our opponent took a mulligan. So if I had to pick two perfect draws off the top, I would want Lightning Bolt followed by another Ritual. All right, just land go. 
I like the Morphos. That's pretty good. I'm guessing if they went to five that they probably have a turn two idol on. There it is. All right, so we can get rid of that on turn two. And we want to get rid of it before they can protect it with Boros Charm. So I just want to think through this. Um, so in theory, I could go Ritual, Morphos, Archaeomancer, all that good stuff. But I end up taking a buttload of damage that I don't really want to do. So instead, we're just going to take four here and clear the idol on. All right, I'm at 15. And the idol on is down. Burn spell. And another one. We're at nine. That was a good draw. So I th here, I think I want to name land. But I'm afraid that if I play out the Archaeomancer early, I'm not going to get punished. So I'm going to say land. Really nervous about playing out this goblin. If I hold it next turn, I can just like, um, you know, go ritual, ritual, morphos. Maybe that's good enough. Maybe I should just hold it. And they are wisely just passing. Okay. So red, green, goblin. Virtual. Ah, uh, they have Searing Blaze. Ah, uh, this is gonna hurt. Punished. Okay, so we need to respond with our rituals here. We're gonna add green, green. So that's seven mana. I can wish into empty. And that's 14 damage. So that actually isn't lethal. Uh, but if I Abundant Harvest into another ritual... Like, I just think giving my burn opponent two uh, draws to kill me isn't the best idea. I guess the, the silver lining here is if I Abundant Harvest and miss, I can always relay for eight. Which is probably good enough to win. Down land. Bergy. Uh, Bergy's not good enough. So we're just going to wish into relay. Relay for eight. Pray that they don't kill me. Oh my, all lands. Can you believe that? Holy smokes. <laughs> wow. That was terrible. Okay, they put Lurse. They might, must not have anything. That was so bad. Um. Jeez. So let's play Goblin. And then Bergy. And now I can play Harvest, hoping to hit a ritual. Not land. Okay, I'll take that. Let's auto yield to this. Alright, red, green. Not very good. Um what does this do? I can play Wish in a Breach, I think. Wish. And Breach should probably win the game. Yeah, this is going to do it. Even with, like, the world's worst uh, relay, we're going to get it. Land. I don't need Abundant Harvest. Those can go. Okay, they're tapped out. Let's Reforge. Okay. We're going to win this. Can't believe we're beating Burn. Gift Storm never beats Burn. Ever. It's like 25%. <sighs> Cast past in flames. Easy peasy. We already have the Grape Shot in the Graveyard. We just have to build up Storm. Right, cast. No, I don't want to cast it with that flashback. Let me cast it for the way I want to. Jeez. All right. Striker Rich. Ritual. And then Grape Shot. No extra motions here. Our opponent seems like a nice person laughing at our deck, calling an aggro storm. I don't need a showboat on them. So now they will take 15 damage. Move that back over. Alright, hit the F6 button. And we're 2 and 2. We beat Burn. 
<laughs> wow. All right. Let's see if I can not suck in the fifth round, play some better magic, you know, no play mistakes, and turn this into a 3 2. On the play for the fifth and final round. This seems fine. All right. Our opponent took a mulligan, and now we're ready to begin. We're going to play the back half of their pathway and then harvest for a land. Land. Copperland Gorge. What do we show them? Past in Flames, Copperland Gorge. Okay. So they know that we're Red Green Storm now. Tron. So I wonder if I'm supposed to just ritual out Bergy here. I think the answer is yes. Ritual and then the Berg. No. 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 Oh. That's brutal. That hurt. Dirty Eldrazi Tron players with their lack of fun. Shame. All right, let's get another land. Have to pass the turn. Our best draw is probably Goblin. I'd obviously love a Bergy too. Don't get me wrong. I think we're getting Thought Knot here. Else one, sure. Okay. I mean, we only have Abundant Harvest and in uh, Veil in the deck. So, like, if they have a Chalice 2, Veil is no longer an out. But that's not that big of a deal. Come on. The Ritual. But theoretically, I could reforge right now, but that gives them a fresh hand of 7. I don't really want to do that. Um, the 3, 4, 5 mana. I think I'm just going to Morphos. Green, red. Berg. I love the Berg. Do not dismember me again. Do not dismember me again. Okay. Thank you for listening. I will gladly take three. Okay. Pretty good draw. Ritual. I can't help but wonder if we just have a clean kill here with Bast and Flames. We're at 16. We might. Morphos. Wish. All right, let's play Past and Flames. Okay, that resolved. That's good. I was a little bit nervous about Warping Whale. Rituals from seven. We might be a little bit short here. I'm not quite sure. Heretic Ritual. And actually, I'm going to pop out my graveyard. That way it makes it easier on you to see. Uh, let's move it over here. Okay, let's Morphos. We can just add red because the green cards in the deck we can't cast anymore, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's Morphos again. Red. Let's cast Wish. And then let's Reforge after that. We're pretty much just looking for a Storm at this point. And the reason you want to wish first is in case I reforge my opponent into a Warping Wheel, it won't end up mattering. Wait, they had Warping Wheel the whole time? What? <laughs> Friend, that was not the move. All right, so I think we just have it here. Um, so, Storm, I, I just want to think through this. Uh, so they're at 16. Oh, and I get an attack step still. Um, yeah, they're just dead. So the Abundant Harvest replaces itself uh, because we still get the mana off Bergy. We can flashback past in Flames and then Tendrils. Or uh, Tendrils Grape Shot. So this does cost five to flashback. So we go down to one mana, but then Bergy's going to make a mana. And then Grape Shot. And that is Storm 16. Get out of here, Etron. Go home. Wow. All right. Tuck that back in. Whoops. I just don't want it to mess up for game two. Let's go to boarding. 
Veil of Summer is actually not that bad here. Um, I don't mind leaving it in because like they want a chalice to me. But I'm also thinking like maybe I want to bring in Blood Moon. I guess Chalice one hit Striker Rich. I forgot about that. Um, maybe Blood Moon's just best as a wish target. What if I don't board? Or I should probably bring in or board out one Veil so I have it as a wish option. Maybe board out the Breaches. Because this allows me to be Grave Hate. I think I like this blood. Let's go! This hand is great. This is actually a turn two relay for a bunch. So what we'll do is we're just going to go Lango. And then turn two we go Ritual Ritual Bergy floating one mana. Strike a Rich. Ah, oh, that's actually a mana short. Um, if I'm thinking through this correctly. Four mana. Striker Rich. Yeah, that's one mana short. So maybe I have to play Striker Rich on turn two. Or turn one. It's just one less um, Storm on turn two. And now I don't even have to do that anymore. I can just pass. Is a Chalice? Okay. Bummer. Okay, so Ritual. We can still play the Striker Rich. There's nothing stopping us from casting it. Um, I have to play the Desperate here, right? I, I'm wondering if I should just play Horn. Yeah, I think I like Horn more than I like Relay. So now Thought Knots here can come down. Matter Reshaper, okay. Let's discard the Striker Rich. Two lands. That's a little bit of a bummer. Um, I'm going to discard another land. Double Ritual, I like that. Discard another land. Wish. What does that do? Uh, I think it allows me to Breach. So let's discard the Relay. And that was just the best. Okay. Green. We need them to not have Dismember here. We're about to beat them, I think. Let's cast Piff. Okay, tons of mana. Roughly infinite mana. So now we can cast Wish. Get Grape Shot. Grape Shot them. Flashback Piff, Grape Shot. Turn three through a Chalice. Woot woot. Flashback past in flames. And then grape shot them again. This is so good. <laughs> oh. Sweet. We got the 3 2. This deck was honestly awesome. Like, I would love to play this deck again. It was so much fun. Imagine what you could do if you didn't throw away half of your games. <laughs> Wow. Um, so other than me punching, I actually think that this deck was fairly good. Uh, changes that I think you could make. This deck probably wants more bolts. Like realistically, I think this deck probably wants some lightning bolts in the board. What you cut, I'm not sure. Um, I don't think you necessarily need the Blood Moon and you probably don't need the Cyborg Veil of Summer. Um, that's what I have. Like, I think you really do need three relay and maybe this will could be something else if there's a better card to answer Chalice of the Voidance you know friends it could even be an ee because you're allowed to wish for ee on turn three to beat chalice so that's a possibility but it doesn't beat things like leyline of the void so there's some pros and cons to running wilt uh we'll also kill an idol on this league and ee is really slow at doing that so you never know but thank you for watching i'm sorry that i am terrible at magic and punch a whole lot it is what it is but hopefully you found this entertaining this deck's sweet. You should definitely try it out. I don't think that this is necessarily a PTQ deck, but this deck's certainly something you could bring to F and I'm going to have a lot of fun with. That's what I have. All right, I'm officially done at this point. Thanks for watching. You're beautiful. Keep storming and have a great day. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below.
If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.